Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign as the glorious Spartans. And as you can see last time, something very, very special happened. We took Rome, what is now known as Cleonymon, named after our most glorious of commanders, Cleonymos himself, and our faction leader. Um, and as you can see, we're kind of at war with pretty much half the map. <laughs> Right now, now we just need the Seleucids to declare war on us, and, and it's, it's going to be a full house. Um, but while we're here, we haven't looked at our ratings for a little while, for a few episodes. So let's look at our faction rankings. Uh, let's put the uh, top five factions in there. We'll also add in Rome. So unsurprisingly, the Ptolemies, Seleucids, uh, Carthage, and Suebi are the top. Let's stick in the Arverni as well, just to see how they... They weren't actually doing very well before, were they? So, stick in Rome, of course, as well, just because they're one of our main rivals right now. Um, and uh, let's go through. Let's see. Overall, we are the top right now. Military-wise, the Seleucids are above us, but we are second. The Ptolemies have gone down loads. And look at the Romans. I mean, the Romans actually... Looking at this, the Romans actually have more troops than probably we we thought. Probably a third, uh, probably more than a third. Between a third and two-fifths of the amount of troops we have. But that's just one big army uh, that we can see. So I don't know where the rest of their troops are. But they're certainly not in the Italian Peninsula. So that's slightly weird. Uh, production ranking, uh, we are just... Above and beyond everyone by a long way. Territorially, we are above and beyond everyone by a long way again. Seleucids have actually gone down slightly. Ptolemies are still going up, so it's surprising the Seleucids have not managed to press that advantage in the Middle East. Um, in the Levant, where uh, they should really be pressing that advantage. Romans-wise... So that, to me, looks like they have ten, and we can only count seven over here. Oh, they have the islands as well, so that's nine. So there's an extra one somewhere that they've got. Uh, finances, you can see we went down then up, but a lot better than everyone else. Population, we are just off the scale compared to everyone else. And overall, we are the best. So, fantastic. That's brilliant to see. Uh, we are definitely the greatest nation on the planet right now. The glorious, most glorious nation. Glorious Sparta. And we have plenty still to do. We're going to take Rome. I've got a decent tactic, I think, against Carthage that will work. So, we're going to push them back to Regium is, is the main main idea, right, against Carthage. We're going to push them back to Regium, have a defensive army in Regium. Defend Regium should be nice and easy. Shouldn't have to deal uh, with too many good armies. I mean, their, their troops, the Carthaginian troops, are actually not that decent. Um, and I say that from experience as playing as Carthage. Um, their early game troops are not good. So, uh, compared to, say, our troops now, or the Roman troops. So we shouldn't have too much of an issue fighting them. But if we take Sicily, and we get a ceasefire, I don't think Carthage will attack us again. I'm pretty sure they won't. I don't think they will. And I think that'll be because... They like a land border. They're not huge on a sea border. So I don't think they'll navally invade us if we take Sicily and get a ceasefire. So that'll be one way to get out of that war with Carthage. If we can. If we can force them to get a ceasefire. Over here though. You can see it's Massalia down here. So I'm not sure where that extra Roman settlement is. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not sure where it is. I mean these two as well. So let's just check. We've got Pistum Capua. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They've got an extra one somewhere. It's not there. It's not here. It might be. To me, it looks blue still. I really don't know where that extra one would be. Unless they've taken a Ebesus over here. I really don't know. Quite confusing, actually. But anyway, they might. It might have been just nine on the on on the uh, on this on the scale rather than ten. So it might still just be nine. Um, in terms of our armies, of course, we're sending pretty much all of them this way. We need. Oh yeah, we lost 
the cavalry, didn't we? We need to send some cavalry up to Asanka as soon as we can. So keep on uh, recruiting with that cavalry. Uh, we'll send them up to Asanka as soon as we can. Um, and then this army... This army will be our defensive army against the Suebi for some time. Anything, I kind of want to just fill these places with phalangites, cheaper phalangites that I can get hold of. So anywhere that has a decent recruitment hub up here, that's the problem. We need recruitment hubs up here. We were going to make... Was it... I, we were going to make Suggestica a recruitment hub, weren't we? What about a Quincum now? A Quincum is only a minor city, so it's not really hugely important. Oh, we can re re retrain these guys there. I'm pretty sure Suggestica would be a good option. Oh, but there's no military buildings here. Ah, oh, well, we need one of these three to be a recruitment hub. Well, how about a Sanka? A Sanka's got a little bit more, and it's got an armor at. What's the temple that it has? No, get rid of that. Let's make a Sanka recruitment hub then. And let's go with the shrine to Daimos and Phobos. And then we'll upgrade the armor. Then we need to start getting the uh, our military buildings in place. Cool. I don't think we need to move anyone else. I'm just worried that these guys are going to attack Clear Naimon. And if they do that, we will send one of our, our, our armies here straight away to go and deal with them. The other army from Ambrakia is going to go deal with Carthage. And hopefully take Regium all in one swoop. If we can deal with both of these armies with one of our armies and take Regium, that'll be a, a good result. If not, that's, that's fine as well. We've got plenty more armies getting retrained and on the way. Including Cleonimos himself, the glorious man. Anyway, let's uh, end the turn, guys. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. So, Ptolemy's just... They, they're just a thorn in our side right now. They're, they're really not helping <laughs> themselves. They're just making me angry. Okay, Suebi. Welcome back, Suebi. Constant, constant... Uh, constant attacking by the Suebi over here, which is fine. It might mean we need two defensive armies up this way just to deal with them. Okay, it's finally come to this, has it? The Bosporans. The Bosporans. Well, the Bosporans should be an easy fight, really. Suitable husband. Okay, you are 34, but I'll uh, accept you. You will be a someone who will deal with public order while we convert these places. So actually, where did you end up? Why have you stopped there? Let's go for Tyras. I want to. Uh, I want to. Both of these. I want to turn both of these. One of these into a recruitment hub. Whichever has the better military buildings to start with. So Tyras doesn't have great ones. So it's going to be Thomas then. Well, Thomas is too far away. I think we go for Tyras. So after this is completed, we'll start building up the barracks. Then we'll move on to that when the uh, general gets in. So Sanka, Suggestica, and Quincum. Hmm. All by the Suebi. Merchants died. Diplomats died. Oh, well. Oh, well. Bosporan. Ceasefire with Armenia and the Seleucids. That's a very good move for the Seleucids themselves there. Very good. Uh, so, Pella got the awesome Temple of Artemis. Okay. Let's go with the Academy. So that when we're retraining our troops, some of them might pick up traits. Philippopolis. Great Agora. Skodra. Let's go for... Hmm. Skodra. What do we want here? Probably the Dockyard. Salona. I was going to say, Salona would be a good option, honestly. Here, uh, have we got a blacksmith here? Yeah. But it's too far from the northern ones to really be any difference. So let's carry on with... I mean, we can recruit trasher troops there, so let's go with that. Ayada doesn't matter too much. 
Darkidalva. Let's go for those baths. Byzantian. Tium. Go for that one. Because that can serve as a bit of a recruitment hub over this side. Piro Bridava. Go for the Odeon. Tarentum got the Academy. I'm not sure why I did that. I think Tarentum down here. Let's let's start trying to convert it. Put it on low tax rate. Venusia. Get you on low as well. Let's try to convert some of these places. They're gonna be a bit of a bit of a problem, but apart from that, it'd be fine. Lysamarchia. So a Sanka. Got that. So let's go for that. And Ascalum. Got the shrine to Hera. Let's go for the stone wall at Ascalum. Just to keep that defensiveness. So that big army's still there. So first things first. I need you guys. Where are we gonna take you? I'm thinking we go with this army after that Roman army. So, then you come back. Oh no, we wanted to send you up there. Okay, we'll come here then. How much time have you got? I think we go after Capua then. We might force them into attacking us, which would be good. Force this army to attack us. Very nice indeed. Oh, they've they put the, both of their armies together. That's less nice. Not what we like to see, but uh, this army's a bit messed up. Can't really see how it's going, but it's a very experienced army. So, get them off there. Let's go this way. Let's go after Regium. That might force them into attacking us as well. And then we'll bring you back to Ambrakia. Next thing, this army is going in there for retraining. Come on, let's retrain them. Let's do that, and then we can uh, get retraining, get training troops some more. Sparta, how are we doing for troops? Let's keep it coming. Keep it coming. I'm going to send these guys up to Bailazora, and we'll... Uh... We can't get through. Okay, no. I wanted to send you up to Bailazora. Also should have attacked them, really. Get rid of them. But that's fine. Now, this army in Pella, Cleonimos, still needs retraining. That's fine. Then we've got this one of Midilos, who's absolutely destroyed, really. You guys over there. Now, the Bosporans. So, you can leave behind one of these damaged units. Bosporan Infantry. They've got Horse Archers. That's not great. Um, I'll leave behind you. And let's go stand there. So if they want to attack us, I'm very happy for them to do that. How many turns does this, this last? Three. So obviously we need to uh, attack them if it's more than three. Seven there. Seven there. Okay, cool. We're okay. I think we're we're in a good position, really. Hmm. Really need to start putting pressure on these these regions. But we are in Capua, Capua and Pistum and Regium just to finish off this, and then we can focus fully north. It's all good, I think. So by the Zora, we have some decent decent troops. Get these guys up to Bailazora as well. And we'll send these boys up there as well. We can't. They might need a bit of retraining. So I'll send them up to Bailazora. These guys actually took one damage, so. They don't need retraining. The archers might need a little bit, so we'll send them to Thessalonica because... Uh, no, it's not Thessalonica, is it? Where can recruit archers? I mean, Pella can, so we'll go for Pella, but we want to retrain Midilos first. So, that's fine. Cool. A new Cryptia, my friend. Let's make this Cryptia army happen. Get 
there. Could you take these guys? You can, but not quite enough movement yet. I think that's everything. Let's just check we're building everywhere. We are. And mainly Greek. Mainly Greek. But Thomas isn't Greek yet. Interesting. Oh, yeah, Thomas. Thomas will be Greek. So don't worry about that. We are going to convert all these places. Oh, yeah, we need you down here as well. We might as well take these guys. Okay, you don't have enough movement points. Might as well take you. And we might as well get this horse archer in the mix as well. Horse archer. You can never say no to a horse archer. My Tonian's a little bit unhappy now, but that's fine. Let's end the turn. Lots of uh, campaign management. We well, we've had a lot of battles recently, so it's nice to just relax a little bit and have this campaign management. Um, okay, they are going for this this fight. I honestly don't think we can win this. But we will fight it anyway. It says uh, the balance is relatively even. More in their favour, but we have about similar troops. I just don't think our troops are good enough. To beat off their troops, especially with their experience. But we will fight it anyway. So, I will see you on the battle map, guys. How many of us who look upon this dawn will live to see the night? I tell you. Here we are. Right. So, I'm hoping this... This uh, ram doesn't get to the gates, and we can fight them. Oh, we can we can make sure that ram doesn't get to the gates. So make sure all these guys are on fire at will. That's our general, the Illyrian skirmishers. Really, oh. We'll have who do we want? So the Illyrian swordsmen, the Celtic mercenary swordsmen. Yeah, the Celtic mercenary swordsmen are not as good. So have these guys on the. Uh, on the walls. Also have the Celtic mercenaries. One up there. One up there. And one down here. And we use these guys. Get rid of that. Because it leads us to a little bit of lagging. Go after those. Speed it up. Just want to... Should have waited a little bit, actually, for them to be in range of the towers. So that the ram was stopped in front of the towers for a while. Let's get over here. If they want to chase me, they can. Come on. Fire at the ram. Damn it. Fire at the ram. Now this is where we attack it. This is where we attack it. So that it will get burnt. Because it will stop. It will still be being shot. Oh, we've broken them. So I'm going to need someone else to take up the ramp. Get the Illyrian skirmishers over there. Get across. Okay, go, go, go. Kill them then. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That that kill does more than them, really. Don't want you to... Ah, oh, stop wasting your javies on these guys. A waste of javies. Yeah, ram's gone. Good, 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 good. Let's get inside. So they're only going to be able to come up this way now. So, you guys get through. You guys get down here. Speed it up. Hopefully you don't allow them in through the gates. Good. Well done, boys. Gates closed. Yes, they are. go. Come on, boys. 
go, let's go. Let's go. It's just a fight for the walls now. Go, go, go. Get them in the back. I think we we, we will we, we will win this then, boys. It's good to see. Just speed it up. Why do you guys stay down there? Just come up. Okay, I guess there wasn't enough space. Oh, we're crushing them. Nice. Ah, oh, didn't even get through. Come on, boys. Let's go. Well, at least we managed to defend the Jessica, hey? A Quincum's probably going to be a bit of a tougher challenge. So who's fighting? You guys have not really lost any men. Oh, wait. No, you have. Yeah, 50 there. Now they come up. Yeah. They will die as well. They will all die. The outside of Skirmisher Rabble are not great. Ah, oh, here come the boys. A lot of them. We just need to defend them off on the walls. It's always better on the walls, so... I'm going to get these boyos around here as well. So they're starting to come up. Oh! How have you routed already? Get up there, boys. They were fighting a lot better on this other side. By the jabbies. Let's go. Yes. That's what we like to see. Do it again. They're going to be so susceptible to javelins, these boys. Fight. Alright, let's go, Illyrians. I don't know whether we win this now. We've got a lot of troops up here. They all just fired a little bit then, actually. Okay, that's helping. Let's get them up. Let's go fight. I, I think it's a lot better to fight on the walls. Rally the boys. Freeman 100 are doing just too much damage, I think. We will lose. <laughs> oh, no. Rally. I think they're just going to do too much damage. Unless we can do some sneaky charges. Ah, uh, they've got the general up there as well, and when they take the gates, that's us done. Keep it coming. Come on, boys. Get this over and done with. Unlimited rallies, apparently. I thought there was only, like, you could only do three. But I guess unlimited. Right. Let's go with the cav. Actually, no, let's not go with the cav. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's go. So when they come out of this, they will just stand there. So we're going to try and charge them while they do that. Oh, are we getting shot? Oh, we're getting shot by those towers now. So let's, uh, let's not do that then. What is their general? That's what I want to know. Is it a normal? Yeah, Frammy and swords. Well, we need to go. Okay, well at least he's getting shot. Let's uh, let's actually engage him while he's getting shot. Got a good charge off there, actually. If we can kill him, chase us, chase us, chase us, chase us, chase us, general. I want to kill that. If I can kill that general, there is still a chance. It's a small chance, but there's still a chance. Kill him. Let's go. Ah, oh, we routed. We routed. No. 
Oh well. Ah oh, well. At least we did some some decent damage. Ah, we need a new defensive army up there ASAP. And I think that'll be the new army that we've recruited. Um, yeah. We have been recruiting a lot of troops. It just doesn't seem like we've made up a huge amount of troops yet. Um, so, yeah. I was hoping we would have an extra two armies by now, but we've not even got one yet. So, yeah, we really do need to ramp up our production, ramp up our recruitment, and get some new recruitment centers on the front line like I've talked about. So, let's do that. Um, let's do that by, I think, I think, uh, go for a Quinkum or a Sanka, wasn't it? Then we've also got Tyler, Tylus that's going to become one. Um, and in Rome, it will be a Retium that will be, because it's got a, a, a blacksmith center. And we'll build the Dimos and Phobos temple there as well. So we get the double, uh, the double uh, upgrade to armor. So we hopefully we can get gold armor and gold, uh, weapons. The same thing with Bylazora. Hopefully, we can make that into a recruit uh, into a huge city soon, so that we can uh, make it into a glorious gold, double gold uh, recruitment hub. And then we'll have gold armor and gold weapons, which will be fantastic, because we'll get both the upgrade to the Pantheon, and we'll also get the upgrade from the armorer, which will be excellent. So let's do that. Let us do that. That'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, suggested because gone. I reckon they're going to exterminate it. You know. Oh well. The Suebi are just fucking annoying, bro. Like, just leave us alone. Like, just leave us alone. Like, we didn't want war with you. The same with the Bosporans. Goddamn AI. As soon as you're fucking next to a nation. They will attack. Oh my god, look at the Suebi round here as well. Looks like we're going to have to fight off the Bosporans then. I'll take you. You're pretty good. And you're in Corinth. So, where do we want you to go? I mean, you're probably going to become a new general for us. So, let's get you over there. Okay, this army's done. Cleonimos. Was going to send you to Rome. I was going to send you to Rome, but, but, hmm, oh, we've also got a coming of age, Memnos of Orcomenos, oh, we've got two guys in here, Ekamon, Memnos, Rational, Benevolent, Mathematics, Oligarch, Orcomenon, he sounds like he'll be a perfect governor. Got anywhere around here that doesn't have a governor? No. Thermon doesn't. I'll send you to Thermon. You, my boy. You seem more like a general. Hmm. So let's uh, send you up to Bylazora as well. Ready for some new armies. So, Cleonimos. Hmm. So, Cleonimos, what shall we do? Also, Olus. I think you're going to go to Tyras, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I mean... I think the most pressing issue is the Sewebi right now. And we'll come from the south to the north. So we'll go back for Suggestica. And then if they take any of these, uh, actually, well, a Quincum's probably more of a pressing issue, isn't it? So let's go for a Quincum first. There. Go for a Quincum. A Sanka can hold itself, I think. Hmm. Now, next army to get retrained. You guys. Needs so much retraining. You guys. It's fine. We're kind of scrambling a little bit here now. Hopefully we've got enough for a new army soon. Where are those guys? Yeah. 
Where are those archers? Ah, that's more infantry. So we will actually have enough for two new armies soon. These guys actually have a armor upgrade, so we don't need them anymore. Where are those archers? Okay, these archers need retraining. But we'll give them their uh, armor upgrades first, though. So, archers. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Messing around with them is annoying, but oh well. Give them their armor upgrades. Now over here, so we train everyone we can. And keep on recruiting these. Still recruiting cavalry over here, are we? Good. So Cleonimos is on the way up there. We've got Midios in... Pella, who needs a few more infantry and some more cavalry. Yep. We've also got basically enough for a new army, which will probably... If we take, we'll take Midilos to go after the Suebi slash Bosporans as well. So I think we need to, we need to fight this battle, you know. It's going to be interesting because we've not fought the Bosporans yet. The Sindian infantry, they're actually really good. 43 defense, 15 attack. Pretty decent. Uh, I don't know whether our mercenary army is going to be able to deal with it. But. But. And it's a big but. Get that extra 5% happiness please quickly. Um, we just need to, to, to beat them back really don't we. Uh, we also have the army here in Ambrakia. We've got... These Cryptia, which we could do with. You can get on that boat next turn. So, cool. Got this army there. Right, so, let's have a look at our armies. We've got uh, Uaimon going after Capua. I'm happy to sit here for now because I want him to attack us. This army, however, needs to attack the Carthaginians, which we will do in a second. Protus' his army. Some good experience in this army as well. A very nice, experienced army. Um, you are going home, aren't you, Captain Capis? We have we need a general for you as well, so that's another thing. What about you, Melus the Handsome? How were you for being a general? Swan Morale. Oh, you're really good for being a general. Really good. Well, we'll use you then. So you join that army. Just so I don't forget. Um, so we only do have two two armies on the Italian peninsula. And one of them isn't focused on Rome right now. So Cleonimos is on the way north to fight the Suebi. We've got the army in Asanka defending, which I'm pretty sure we'll be able to defend. We've got Dolon over here, who needs to attack Captain Axander. We have... Seuss over here as well, ready to defend against Ptolemies, which looks very likely that they're going to attack again. Have an army in Ambrakia. We have got Nicandros' army in Ambrakia retraining, and we've got Midilos' army in Pella retraining, and we'll have a new army as well ready. So we do have plenty of armies. As well, recruits. Some more. Yep, keep that recruitment going. Keep that recruitment going. So, marriage celebrations, rioting in Mytonium, that's fine. Spy detected, settlement occupied. They just occupied it. Cool. Good for them. Armenia, Seleucids, Armenia, and the Ptolemaics. Uh, wait, I'm confused. Wait. Okay, Carthage and Rome have declared a ceasefire. Come on, boys. <laughs> really want to gang up on me that much, do you? That is disgusting. So, Chalkis. We got that. R nothing really matters what we build in Chalkis right now. Amphipolis. Amphipolis. Let's build, um, build some happiness. Archidava. Let's just build that, that wall. It, I don't know. I, I just don't like seeing the wooden walls on the map. 
<laughs> I know it sounds stupid. It does sound really stupid. But it's fine, right? We'll go for a conquered land occupation at Tyras. Or do we? Oh, it's being converted to Greek anyway. So, conquered land and occupation, please. Uh, Croton. Uh, do we do the conquered land occupation down here as well? I don't think so. Not yet. Mytonium. Yeah, we're building that. Lysomachia. Building that. Cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. We are scrambling, like I say, a little bit. So, first things first, let's fight this Bosporan army. Hmm. At least a lot of the cavalry is going to come in first. It's going to be a tough battle because this... I don't know how these mercenary troops perform. But they are armor-piercing a lot of them, so hopefully it'll be good. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Okay, we're fighting across a river. Oh, well, that's not what we needed. Hmm. Can we force our way across this river, though? I mean, we've got these boyos. I'm thinking they'll set up over there, so we get the Bastanians. If, if anything, we want them hidden. Can you hide? Is, it, is that hide enough? Hidey enough? Let's hide everyone, and we'll try and duke them. Keep cavalry together. Horse archers at the last. Over here with you. So hopefully they fall for the bait. So where are they? Oh, they're over there. Let's try and force them over this way. I mean, if they want to attack us across the river, I'm happy with that. They are going for this side, and I don't know why. Okay. You're going to come across the river, bro. Leave you there, then. Where are my horse archers? Let's see how uh, OP horse archers are in the mod. Because in the vanilla, they are ridiculously OP. Eh, I don't know what they're doing. I don't think we win this, you know. Right, everyone over here. Let's uh, get up over here ASAP. So in terms of infantry, we have U3. Let's get you there. In terms of cavalry, you boyos. What are you getting fired at by? Probably their own horse archers somewhere. Is it this Paphlogians? No. So who is it then? Their horse archers here. Let's go and fight them. Let's go and hit them. Um, spread out, boys. I need to fire at them. Fire at them. Get rid of them. They have more horse archers as well. Uh, so, you boyos, we'll get you there. Fire at will as well. We'll leave this cavalry over here. Keep firing, boys. It's going to be a bit of a tactical battle, this one. More like a chess game. Keep firing, boyos. Oh, they just got shredded. Peltas or what? These archers must have a really good range. Got to be careful of that because our uh, these guys have like no armor. So although they'll be great in melee, they will not be good to start with. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to leave us like this, time to go. I think we'll go through them. Think. <laughs> Don't know, but I think. Let's see. Okay. 
Very decent charge. What we like to see, isn't it? Absolutely shredded them. Right now, out, 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 out. Come on, boys. Let's go. I want to deal with that cavalry. So we've got cavalry rain over this side. All our guys are still hidden, which is great. Let's go over there if we can. Can you catch them? Guys, come on. Let's go. Why are you stopping? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Who are we getting shot by now? This horse archer, isn't it? And they've got archers here as well. Well, we will deal with those. We need to deal with those archers really as well. Okay, if those horse archers don't want to play game, play ball, we'll kill their archers. God, how good are these archers? Well, they look pretty heavy, actually, for archers. It's probably a bit of a problem, isn't it? Out. Out, boys, out. Get all these guys in wedge formation as well. Now charge them again. Go, 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 boys. Quick before... Oh, my God, we're getting shredded. Ah, oh, those jabbies, boys. Those jabbies are just brutal. Yeah, they're all gone. All gone now. I'm glad they've come over this way. I've got a lot of archers, and that's the big problem. Right. I think... It's time to go. There as well. You boyos, let's go. Actually, let's get you boyos over here. Again, we'll send the cavalry over this way. So, you boys, let's go. Let's get you across the river. Speed it up a bit. Problem is going to be these archers. Oh, they can just go straight across the river anyway. Armor piercing boyos. Let's go and try and kill his general. That's going to be the biggest biggest boon to us, isn't it? And you guys go and fight those archers. Kill that general. Oh, he's broke. Some Sindian infantry. I need to surround those boys. Oh, wait. We kill... He fled! They're scared of these guys. They must be... Do they frighten nearby enemies? Yes, they do. Yes! These guys are rabid. Let's go. Let's go. They're crazy bastards. Come on, the boys. <laughs> Look at them go. All right, everyone across now, quick. Need this cavalry to add some fear factor. You. Let's go, boys. Cavalry, let's go. Oh, my God. They hate them. They're so scary. What boyos. They're really scared. Are they withdrawing now? No. So, let's get you guys. Let's get you in. Kill this cavalry. Kill those boyos. The Paplogians. Horse archers. Let's get you up there. In fact, horse archers will get you all the way over there. General, let's bring you. We kill them. Oh my glory days. This is glorious. What boys? They are really, really scared of these units. Oh my god. I've never seen such scared. 
such frightened nearby enemy units. Like, these are, like, almost as powerful as elephants. They must be scary boyos. Get one of these in there, because they'll just scare them off. Cavalry. Cavalry, let's go. I want you to just, just don't worry about anyone else. Just get through. They're like assault berserkers, bros. Like berserkers on steroids. What boys? What glorious units. Oh. This is so good. I, I, I hope I can recruit more of these. These are so good. Yeah, come back, cowards. Kill them. They're withdrawing now. <laughs> so scared. Come on, boys. Get them. Get them. Oh, they're going to rout instantly, aren't they? Oh! Glorious! Oh! Oh! That was just so good to watch. They just instantly routed. Oh, my days. What fantastic troops these guys are. Oh, I love them instantly. Armor piercing. I mean, 20 morale, 21 melee attack. Not much defense, but 21 melee attack is very good. And it's armor piercing melee attack as well. What about the... So, that was the Bastanian swordsman. How about the Falksman? Do they frighten nearby the enemy? Oh, they're, they're basically the same. Actually, the Bastanian swordsman is slightly worse. But they do... I don't know, they're better melee attack, but less... They've got no armor whatsoever, whereas the uh, Mercenary Falksmen do have some armor. Uh, yeah, kill those. And then is there anyone else that we need to kill? Yeah, get you in there. Let's go. Kill them all. There we are. Hopefully we've fully... I, we might have fully destroyed them there. Poor Bosporans. They they instantly just they saw those guys and they just shot themselves. <laughs> Glorious. One thing, so looking at their troops, troops wise, infantry, they seem to route quite quickly then, but I think their archers are really strong looking at them. We charged those archers and those archers just held the ground. And if, if you zoomed in, you could see that they had armor and big shields. So I'm thinking their archers are pretty much um, pretty much uh, their best their best assets almost like this like spearman archers so yeah we'll, we'll we'll deal with those when we when we uh, when we get to it obviously the the falksmen and the bastanian swordsmen are seem amazing but <laughs> They will just die to archers, so we need to be careful of that. Like, not exposing them to archers very much, if we can help it. Or using other other units as bait. Um, yeah, it seems, seems pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> they just... <laughs> they just ran across, they rabid, rabid bastards. And just scared everyone. Just destroyed everyone. That was brilliant to watch. That was fantastic to watch. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious battle. Once again. So it doesn't look like the Bosporans are going to be too much of a worry then. If we can do that to them every time. Anyway guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. I was going to say that earlier, but it, it's... Oh no, I won't. I won't. <laughs> right. Come on then, you mad bastards. Ah. Well, obviously we'll take these guys. <laughs> Best units I've ever seen. And you guys. Yeah. These lancers look like they're horse archers as well. They've got two units of horse archers. Ah well, let's uh, let's fight some more Bosporans, shall we? Fantastic. I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. 
Here we are. Why is it a river again? Look at the boys. Our rabid boys. Let's go. Well, I don't think there's much they can do if we just charge across with these boys. I don't think they're going to do anything. Let's make sure these guys are all grouped together. I want a full army of these boys. I don't want cavalry. I want these boys. We'll send the cavalry across this way. Dolon can go there. Let's go. Just go. Just go, boys. Just go. Really doesn't matter. One thing that will damage them is, is cavalry. Oh, they... They don't care about the bridge. They're even swimming. Speed it up. Come on, boys. Come on out the water, boys. You guys in there. You guys in there as well. The rest of you go on the glorious charge. Double their uh, gold uh, experience. They must have used them to fight people then. Oh, they're routing already. They must be very scary, boyos. <laughs> they route this quickly. Cavalry. God, these guys are they're pretty much... They are powerful, boys. <laughs> Get into the cavalry. I don't want that cavalry to escape. Get them. Go. My God. How many? <laughs> I'm just speechless. Like, we don't need anyone else. Just these boys, and we'll be fine. Don't need phalagites when you've got these boyos. There he is. It is. Still killed 117, they did, but... I want more of these boys, please! Find me more of them! I want just more! They are glorious! Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Right, well, while we're here... Dole on my boy. Oh, there's more! Please, give me more! I think we'll uh, merge these boyos. Merge them. Oh, we can't merge. They're, they're different. We'll merge all these as well. Give me more. Give me more. Well, while we're here, what? who's in there? Oh, just one unit. Well, uh, come and sit in here. Poor boss burns. Should have probably gone for Olbia there, really. And fought them. We just route them instantly like we did before. So we got a retinue, got a captured flag. Nice, that's really good. And he became a good commander. Well done, Dolon. Looks like we don't need to worry about this flank. Um, the Suebi, of course, are probably going to go for Mytonium here. Oh, and they've got Night Fighters. So they're a, f a scary enemy. But are they as scary as our boys? I'm not too sure, you know. <laughs> I don't think they can be, honestly. Six turns left on this. And then a Sanka's eight turns. So clear Nymos. Once again, rather than seeking glory, Clear Nymos, you are the defender of the realm. You're going to go and fight the Suebi, and hopefully the Tarakis after that get rid of them once and for all. Oh, fantastic. That was fantastic. Right, oh, we've got one more battle to do this turn. Maybe two. But let's go fight the Carthaginians. This is going to be a very different type of battle. This army's so messed up. Why is it so messed up? I don't like that. Anyway, guys, um... Only one cavalry. And oh, that should be easy to kill him then. Right, guys, I'll see you on this battle map. We might be fighting up a hill, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Take up the spear and shield. Put on your helmet. Put aside the fear in your hearts. And remember that you are the sons of great soldiers. Yes. Yeah, we will be fighting up a hill. 
Right, first things first, let's organise these boys. Infantry. Um, in terms of reserves, we group you guys. There, we'll have these boys in reserve. And then... Oh, wait. How are you not involved there as well? Thought we had more inf more infantry than that. Archers. we got a lot of cavalry in this army. Archers. Group you guys as well. Cavalry. And cavalry. And Protus. Get there, my boy. Yeah, they're going to sit at the top of the hill, aren't they? And they like to come down it. I think we'll do absolutely fine against the Carthaginians. I'm not worried about them one bit. Guys there. Let's group you. And you. Protus. There. And our boyos get there. Speed it up. Speed it up. Okay, archer battle going on. Let's get on top of this ridge if we can. There. Boys there. Boys there. Protus, let's go. Archer wise, let's come forward. Probably behind still. <clears throat> They're going to charge us, that would be great. Move forward again then. Come on. Phalanx now. Let's just move. Move forward, boyos. Move forward, boyos. Archers. Okay, he's sending his cavalry in to the charge. The Phalanx March is coming. Should really damage that Libyo Phoenicians. They're, they're a decent cavalry unit, but they're not amazing. I think we can break them just with a charge. Oh no, the Libyo Phoenicians. Sorry, I thought that they were Libyan light infantry. So, probably not. Cretan archers, get rid of them. Okay, need you to fill that gap. Want you over here. Now in the back of them. Right, you guys get there. Oh, look at this blob. Blob attack. Protus over here then. Guys get there. This, this unit's going to take some damage. It's okay. Go straight through them. Into the back of there. Out now, boys. Let's go. Get there. Up here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Out. Listen. Them. Oh, big route here now, boys. Get in there. Let's facilitate this lovely route. Just keep coming forward. Who's not routing? Oh, everyone is routing. Oh, Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. There we are. Perfect. Um, 
Well, that was... How many did we lose that? We lost 17% actually. That's more than I was expecting. I'll break those Cretans. Good. Get them. Get them. Let's get them. Continue. Let's go. How many have we killed then? They've got less than 10%, so we can probably go. So let's exit the battle. Ah, oh, lovely. Well done. Did we get any uh, experience? A couple on the Phalangites. Well done. Good. Good, good. That's really good. Uh, wow. Spartan Cavalry doing bits. Wow. And this Phalangite's 111 there. Wow, that's really good. And these guys, 91. Some decent results there. Well done, guys. Really good. Really good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the uh, campaign map. Here we are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them there, and we will fight these guys next uh, turn. Oh, so many of these uh, Libyan light infantry who are trash, guys. Really bad. Not good units whatsoever. Trust me, I know from my uh, campaigns, they are not good. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we're going to probably end the episode there. We've had a pretty decent episode there, I'd say. We uh, absolutely scared the shitless, the Bosporans. <laughs> Which was brilliant. We lost to Jessica, which wasn't great. Uh, but we're back on the way up there. Fought the Carthaginians, smashed them. Have we fought the Romans as well in this episode? I'm not 100% certain. But we've definitely we've done some good damage to some of these guys. Some really good damage. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again on the next video.